Alright, welcome back. Here's part two. So you should already have your motif ready. If you do not, go and check out the tutorial. It'll be up in the corner. How do you guys like this new lighting? It is currently 10 p.m. when I'm recording this and we can see. I'm so pleased. Anyway, let's just get continuing here. So after round seven, we start working in rows. So this is row eight. And we are first going to start with slip stitching all the way up this and partially up the picot here. So go one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, Seven. So there's seven slip stitches up the side there, and now we're just going to work in oh, there we go. a couple here. One, two, we're going to do three just to get it up in the middle here. So we're not chaining or anything, we're just going to single crochet into that space here. And then we're going to chain ten. And now we're going to skip this one here. We're going to work a picot into here. Or sorry, this is a picot. We're going to work a V treble crochet into this, these two picots here. Uh, I do this, I'm not sure if I do it the right way, but I do it this way. So yarn over twice, stick in your picot, yarn over, bring it through your stitch, yarn over, bring it through two, yarn over, bring it through two and then we are going to yarn over twice again so we should still have these two on here go into your picot yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're going to yarn over and pull through all three so all those last ones there and then we're going to chain 10 single crochet into this picot here chain 10 and we're going to do that that crazy little number again my yarn is getting stuck here we go so we do two yarn over into the pico through two through two, yarn over twice, into the next pico, through two, through two, through three. And we're just going to do that around, but not all the way around. We're going to stop right here. So it's ten chains, single crochet into the pico, V treble crochet into these two, 10, and single crochet. Okay, so you should have six holes, or chain spaces, I suppose. So it will be straight across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're just going to stop there and turn for our next row. And for our next row here, we're going to chain three. This will count as a double crochet. We're, oh. <laughs> If I could hang on to my stuff. We are going to do 32 double crochet. And remember every size starts this way. But we're going to make sure to work into each stitch instead of around the chain. Like so. So again here we are just going to pause all right, so 33, including the chain 3, should take you to the center here. So into that single crochet there, we're just going to do double crochet. So double crochet, chain 2, double crochet into that 
single crochet there and then the same way we did these stitches here we're going to work all the way up here and there should be a total of 33 double crochet on that side 34 if you include the little dude here so on either side of the chain you should have 34 all right so here we go we've got our 33 double crochet chain two double crochet in the same stitch and then 33 up the other side and now we're going to do a chain three one two three and we'll work a decrease over the next two stitches to death and then we're just going to double crochet all the way down. All right, so we work all the way down until the chain. We're just going to do another double crochet, chain two, double crochet right into that chain space here. And then we're going to double crochet up to here until there are three stitches left. And then we're going to decrease and double crochet. All right, so I'm almost at the end. One, two, three. So we'll do one more. And then we'll do a decrease here. work into that last chain. Just a repetition of the row that we just did. We're going to do it one, two more times. Okay, so we have those extra rows and now uh, we are going to continue doing the same thing. We're just not going to be doing the decrease. So we're going to chain three, work our way down uh, double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the chain space, and then double crochet all the way up. So don't worry about any decreasing or anything, just keep on moving. I have up to 17 rows here. This here is my 17th row. So to count, remember this chain was our 8th row. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm not going to go all the way around. We're just going to come down this way and start going back and forth here. So now I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to do 36 double crochet down the side. And you guys know how to do that, so I will catch you on the other side here. Do 35, 36. So no, we are not going all the way to the end. And now we're just going to chain one. And we'll slip stitch three here. And then we're just going to do double crochet is all the way down here so one two three that counts as a double crochet and off we go and you can pause and get all caught up then you chain three double crochet up the side and i'm going to chain three i'm going to double crochet back but i'm going to stop and not crochet into the last two stitches and it's basically going to be a repeat of that so double crochet up to the side chain three double crochet down but skip the last two and then you're going to chain one and slip stitch three again before you chain three and double crochet back up the edge so that we get kind of a zigzag going on the bottom here so i've completed the rows that i need to do for a small size and now we're going to chain four. 
and this will count as a treble crochet. I'm going to treble crochet right into the next stitch there. And now we'll chain nine. And we skip five. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and treble crochet into the next. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll treble crochet into the next, we'll treble crochet into the next two here. And after you have three there, we're going to chain nine. One, skip five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, you got to count. And we'll treble crochet into that last one there. So there's three there, chain nine, and then we'll do a treble crochet into, after we skip five stitches. And we're only going to do two treble crochets here. And we'll chain one. This does not count as a stitch, so we're going to single crochet right in the first one here. And then we're going to do five double crochet into the chain space. And then we're going to do two trebles. We'll work a little pink cone up top here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do two treble crochet and five double crochet in the same space. Then we will skip a treble crochet and single crochet into the next. So we'll have something that looks like this. So in the next two chains, we're gonna do the same thing. It'll be five double crochet, two treble crochet, one picot, two treble crochet, five double crochet, and then skip one and single crochet in the second one there. So I'm gonna pause it and do the next two. Alright, so when you finish all of those, you should have something that looks like this. And we're just going to do a chain one. And we're going to slip stitch into each stitch up the way here. So it'll be a total of 10 slip stitches when we are done because we're going to go up into this pico as well. All right, so I got our slip stitches and we will single crochet into this pico and chain nine.
and we'll single crochet into the next chain nine and single crochet into the next pico. And now for this row, we're going to work into each single chain like we did up in here. So it'll be chain three. And we're going to just double crochet across here. So we should have a total of 21. including that chain three, because that chain three counts as a double crochet. All right, and then this is going to be worked the same way this side was. So we're going to double crochet, well, chain three and then double crochet all the way back down here, except for in the last two stitches. And then we're going to chain one and do three slip stitches up and chain back across. And we're going to do that until we have three double crochet, including the chain three, left. So this should taper down quite nicely. So I will do that and you guys get all cut up. All right, so once we get down to having only three left down here, including the chain three. We're going to chain three. We'll turn it a little bit there. We're going to skip one and double crochet into the top of the chain three at the bottom there. And then we'll chain one, turn it back around. And we're just going to single crochet up here. And then it's going to change a little bit when we get here. So I'm just going to do single crochets up to here. And now we're going to chain eight. And skip three slip stitch in there. So it's one, two, three, four slip stitches, and then we're going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to skip two, and we'll go right in there, so on the top of the treble crochet. And now we're just going to single crochet all the way up to right here, and then we'll finish off. Alright, so I'm going to single crochet all the way up here, and your last single crochet should be in this little area here. And then we finish off. And when you sew it in, go through here first and then weave the ends in, in here. And then we will reattach everything onto this side. We'll start up here, work our way back down and repeat the same steps we took for this side. All right, so now I have both sides done. I have not woven in a single end yet, but that's okay. So right now we are going to do the straps. So you're going to start with chaining. There's a lot to chain, so the straps might be the most annoying part for you. So I will let you know the number to chain up in the corner. And you can pause here and we will get all caught up when we are there.
Okay, so now I've got this crazy long chain. Take my stitch marker out there. My crazy long chain. So what we're going to do to attach it is we're just simply going to single crochet into the top corner pico here. We're not going to chain or anything, we're just going to turn it and do some single crochets back. I believe the number changes for each size, so we'll post that here. You can check that out. And then when you're done single crocheting for that amount, you slip stitch to the end. So it's a little bit tedious, but I like to reinforce my chains that way. I find them to be a little bit stronger. And doing the single crochets here, it makes it so that the yarn doesn't quite cut into your skin like ties can do sometimes. So if you feel like you want a little bit more, then I would single crochet maybe 10 or 15 do a few half double crochets and then do some double crochets to give yourself some extra room there to prevent that cutting and then do a few half double crochets back down to single crochets and then slip stitch all the way down just to give you that extra edge so i'm going to do my single crochets and then we'll get down into our double cro or sorry our slip stitches an alternative that you could do if you would like is double how many chains you need to do and then thread it through here and slip stitch like the last 50 or something and when you're all done this do it again on the other side. Then I like to put these, I think they're called egglets, onto the end to help with threading it. So how I do that is do some knots on here. I am a little extra, so I like to do five. And then I cut it really close. And I have some wire working tools because I do dabble some other craft. So I like to use both of them, these two. So first things first, I spread this open a little bit more so I can make sure I get the crochet in there. And you just kind of want to stuff that in. Make it nice and cozy. The hard part is holding it in there while you close it. Sometimes using a needle in there helps. I keep my needles in a pill bottle. got this idea in a group that I'm in on Facebook. And this idea was from Radiance with Chasing Sunray. To 
da. So now that we have that, lacing up this top will be nice and easy because you'll just be able to stick it in and not worry too much. But you want to make sure that you have it nice and tight so it doesn't snag too much on the yarn. Check it out, no snags, hooray! So I'll do the other side, and you guys don't have to do that if you don't want to. I mean, it's just a detail that I thought I would show you. I'm a big fan of adding hardware to my work. So I will do that stuff after, but first I'm going to show you real quick how to lace it not on a person, and then you can click onto the next video to lace it on a person. So this way is the right way. You want this side to be right side out when you're wearing it. This is the back side. So when you tie it, you're going to start by tying it around your neck, but you're not going to knot it. So we're just going to do a quick one of these. So that'll be around your neck and that'll hold this part up. And then we're going to lace through the picots in the corner. And this will help hold this piece up so that we don't have any nip slips because this does come down pretty low. And I'm pretty short, so this doesn't really have a lot of weight to stretch on me. So this will come over your neck, and these parts will be over this part will come up and over your shoulder. So with that up and over your shoulder, these chains that we did on the sides here, we'll just crisscross them. I'm oh, sorry, we'll go into the next bottom one here. And then the bottom here. And then we'll do the same here. But when I'm tying it on myself to wear it, because I did make this already and I'm keeping the first one because I love it. It's so comfy and I didn't take it off all day. What I like to do when I'm doing this is I will lace here and I'll tug it nice and tight and get everything in its place. But then when I cross it, I'll pinch it while I'm getting these in place. And then I'll tug on that and then I'll do this and pinch it again and tug on this before I can get it in a good position. If you want to see more tutorials like this and some other steps on how to crochet, make sure you hit the notification bell as well as subscribe. And if you want to, you can check out the pattern for this on my Ravelry store if you need extra clarification. Uh, I don't know why I'm pointing like this. So let me just be obnoxious.
Uh, if this is unclear for you, I do have a pattern available on Ravelry and on my website. So just check that out if you need extra clarification.